Uh, guess what happens, Jake, if you donate a thousand dollars to Tulsi Gabbard's campaign? What happens, John? Apparently, you get a phone call from her mother, <laughs> Carol Gabbard, <laughs> or at least I did, dude, for real. <laughs> yeah, Carol Gabbard called me. I guess I know Tulsi was getting at the time a whole bunch of like small donations because she really at the time needed to hit this sixty-five thousand individual donations, even if it was just of a dollar, to guarantee that she'd get access to the debates. Right, I remember that. So that was a huge push for that, right? So I gave a thousand dollars and I guess she wasn't getting too many big donations like that. She's not taking corporate money or anything like that. Right. So uh, I guess the thinking is, uh, all right, if there's anyone, we're going to have to we're gonna really kind of cultivate this. We're going to have Tulsi's mom give somebody a call. So she calls. And now here's the thing. You guys have to understand that I donated under the name. I know I realize when you're making the donation, you could put. As long as you had a legitimate credit or debit card, you could put whatever name you wanted into the name section. And so for the name, I put Goofy Grapes. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a whole backstory to that, which I will maybe I'll maybe I'll try to explain that in a couple minutes. Okay, it's, I'm, it's I'm really, curious. It's like two whole stories that have to do with like like manic things. You Let's know? finish this part. First. OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, guys, just remember Goofy Grapes. All right. So I put in the name Goofy Grapes and then I put for occupation. I put comedian and then for employer, I put redacted tonight, um, you know, which is on RT America, Russian funded. Just I'll put that and put a pin in that for a second, because at the time while this was happening, while I was making this donation, it was around the same time that there were the first inklings of people talking about uh Tulsi Gabbard being propped up by Russia or being like a, a Putin asset or a Putin apologist, like all of that stuff was starting to happen. There was just the the beginnings of it. There was like an NBC News story. Yeah. Um, and it, it like infuriated me because I've been working on Redacted Tonight for the past five years and just being like completely like snowballed and immersed by that uh, Russiagate narrative and stuff like that and not being able to even push back against it as much as I wanted to because I was working at a, a play at working at RT so it makes it like you know it makes you feel like you're being an apologist even if you're just telling the fucking truth of what's going on um, so anyway I was like I'm not gonna let this red baiting happen to Tulsi I'm gonna nip this this Tulsi Russiagate nothing burger narrative in the fucking bud dude immediately so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna donate under goofy grapes I'm gonna put redacted tonight <laughs> and then if some hack fucking journalist decides to delve into the fucking thing and like see where all these donations come from they're gonna find me and I'm gonna be the colonel of it and they're gonna feel ridiculous because I'm a comedian or whatever and then what happened <laughs> okay then <laughs>